Oh, right. Screaming for streaming. Hey, hey. Looks like we're live. Now let's uh, wait for a few to get a couple people in here. Okay. And see if check uh, some of our channels here real quick. Yeah, we're live. We are live. All right. Good deal. Anybody out there? Let us know you're here in chat. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, all right, we got a first person in here. X-ray yeah. critic. Good good to see to you. Good to see you guys. All right. Well, we've got uh, let me see if I can do a chat overlay. There we go. Um Okay, now I can see people's uh uh let's see here. Okay. Let's give that a shot. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, we have a, we've got a, um, <laughs> sup Jimmy. <laughs> no, uh, we've got our, um, we've got our patch coming out today. And one of the, uh, the items on there is the mortar, the motorized mortars. And boy, howdy, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've never, never uh, tried this, so I've, I have yet to even look at this uh, motorized mortar. I've got Tex in here with me, and we're going to go. Th he's going to kind of walk me through and get the key mapper set up for the mortar, and uh, he's going to give me some insights, and we'll see how bad I can screw things up here. So. Uh, what do you think? Uh, so just so everybody knows the, uh, small screen in the upper left-hand corner, that's uh Tex. that's his screen and the big screen is mine. So, uh, okay. Tex, I'm in the key mapper. Uh, what do I need to, let me go to, uh, let's see here. Anti-tank gun. Actually, let me close, close that real quick. So press P to bring up the key mapper for this thing specifically. All right, you're going to go to half track and trucks. Half track and trucks or trucks and haulers. That's right. <laughs> for the Allied side. Uh, I am in the U.S. version of the, uh, the mortar. So, okay, go for it. Well, you're in the French uh, one, by the way, just FYI. Okay. You're in the, you spawned French. So yeah. you're going to go, you're going to go to the uh, French um mark 21 81 millimeter carrier okay and then, and then when you open that up um you're wait a second wait a second french mark half track personal carrier nope it's not in trucks and haulers uh What is, there it is. I'm in the 81 millimeter, correct? That is correct. Okay. It was actually in the AT and AAA gun uh, section. Oh, so they've moved it in. Okay, sorry. Okay. That was the last piece of information I had there. Okay. So now you're going to uh, click on your, uh, you see your function where it says turret traverse? Uh, turret, turret, turret. Steering position 3-4. 
Turret Traverse, yes. Okay, so your secondary key map one, you're going to use that as your left arrow on your keyboard. Left arrow? Correct. This is a this allows you to incrementally make small changes in your adjustment versus a joystick or a mouse. It's very hard to keep it centered. Gotcha. So this yeah. is it right there is the number one tip before you jump in there and get, that's if you don't do that you're going to be frustrated the whole time so that's the that's like you know okay and then of course the the other one the turret elevate we're not finished yet so okay. turret traverse secondary is uh, right right arrow wait a minute oh okay so left arrow and then right arrow Second. correct so where it says turret traverse, uh, it says primary key map. I'm using a mouse. So it has mouse X axis and then secondary where it's at the very far left of that bracket. I set that to left arrow and then right arrow on the right side. Gotcha. Okay. And then, so then the next line, but just directly below that is turret elevate. Yep. Now my preference is, was to put uh, down in key map one under secondary key map and then up here on my secondary key on my uh, number two secondary key map. Okay. The reason why I did that is because the tube then at that point um, is going to go down and up and it's, it, you can, you, it's individual preference. That's what I chose to do okay. in regards to when I, when I'm changing the tube, that's just the way I did it. People oh. can change that, but the biggest thing was the left and right. Gotcha. Okay. Then I then I then I went down to primary weapon. Yeah. Secondary key map. I I did number uh, slot number one, space bar. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it as my mouse button. Okay, because that way it doesn't move. Right. Your gun. That was my concern. The re and the cycle ammo for me is backspace. So, that's that's the those are the those are the big things that. Uh, um. I would, okay. I would recommend. So other than that, we can uh, we can start getting started and uh, trying to get this trying to get you oriented for your first timer here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, all right. Um, let's see. Your key mapper is down. Let me look at the map. You're over here at this four base. I need to turn this truck around real quick. Guys, I know you can't see my screen very much, but look at the distance that we're at from from the gym, gymster. Let me see. Uh, he's over twenty. He's over twenty. He's at two point five away, almost two point six. Sorry, I'm having me some sonic sweet tea. It's happy hour time in Texas. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, refresh these marks on here. Actually, I'll do waypoints on it so the marks won't go away. Uh, add waypoint. That's going to be a vehicle. And this will be... Yep. Okay, so right now I've got a total of 2,500 plus uh, meters to the vehicle and 2,578 meters to the to the infantry. So this should be fun. So position number one is the driver. Position number two is what the lookout. Yep. It's a commander. Commander. And it has a range function on it. Okay, what's uh do you know what the range function is? Yes. Is that yes. press G on your keyboard? Let's see here. It's not gonna really do too much. Well no, cause... but I mean if you just picked an object though, but then you know, um it's nice to have it, particularly if you've got enemy infantry about or you're scouting for others and see things. Um Yep. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, one thing to note, guys, <laughs> you're not going to be able to see your targets. <laughs> I almost guarantee it. It, it. Yeah, very under only very unusual circumstances. That is correct. Okay, so pretty much the commander isn't going to be worth too much. Uh, position number three is your your mortar, correct? Yes. All right, so position number three. Looks like I'm lined up more towards the vehicle. Is that where you wanted to start? Might as well. Uh, okay. We've got a distance of 2,519 meters. Okay. Um, so I assume I hit the uh, uh, the period on the numcad numpad. Right, and that'll uh, that zooms you in. Now, something to remember, guys, is that. Um, when you zoom in on that gunner position, you will see very likely your um, mini map directional arrow will will oscillate or move. That do not be alarmed. Um, that is a technical um, result of the way that the equipment is located. So don't uh, don't be alarmed with that. So if he hits it again and you go out to your general view, it'll be lined up appropriately. And so that's what I would recommend is that. Once you have the vehicle, the platform oriented, if you're every other platform with the exception of the uh, universal carriers, which is a 360. So you have to be within the arc of the of what the gun can do. And when you have it lined up generally like like Chim is doing, then he's going to take his um, his gun and then moving those arrow keys to line up as best as he can. Um, and Chim has already done something that's really helpful is that when you're on a mission and you're, um, it's your mission as the, um, the gunner to go ahead and put a point where you are located a um, waypoint so that others can see, particularly the FO, because when he's calling for adjustments, um, I'm gonna be um, reversing my view because I'm actually on the opposite 180 from him. And so um, does that make sense what I'm saying so far, Jim? Yeah, uh, one thing to note, FO stands for uh, forward. forward of observer excuse me yes yeah forward observer so uh tex is being my forward observer in this whole ordeal so um all right so and we don't know what our elevation is and um you know and so we're, we could see some uh changes here and particularly with your in an urban setting that um you may not be able to see rounds initially so as the fo you may have to move a little bit and be patient because the gunner is only orienting off what he is uh, the plane that he is on and firing to a target he cannot see and that's why one of the in the in the guide that i've posted on discord and we'll get it out there to the community and other uh, other channels is level terrain is huge that'll help that'll make things a lot easier for you then i'll be i'll be quiet jim no that's quite all right so um i'm looking at the I'm zoomed in on the gauge. So what would be the first step? I, I see at the very top uh, that we've got zero and it scales from negative 30 to positive 30. I assume that's the traverse. Right, go ahead and hit your, um, um, your uh, I think it's your period key on your keypad to zoom out and making sure using your arrow keys that the, the arrow, which is the gun tube at this point, is moving as best as you can. This is when I pull up my map function, pressing the letter M so that my map screen comes up in the gunner's position. From the, and then I make sure it's oriented as best as I can. Uh, hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, are you talking about the mini map up on the top right or no, the map itself? No, no, no this is the, the big map. Because apparently... Apparently, if I'm looking at this correctly, the arrow, as I'm looking at the map, the arrow is facing away from the uh, Right, don't zoom targets. in on it. Right, don't zoom in on it. It's just the general view that you would see when you just move to that position. So if you want to press, the, go to your two position, then come back to your number three position, and, it's, and then press M, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Right, so that's what I did when I moved. I okay. made sure that the vehicle was facing in the direction. Right, and then you can use your arrow keys from there and then adjust your gun at that point, the tube itself. Okay, so, right. So we're going to number three position. I hit numlock, and 
So I need to be over just a tad. <coughs> okay, so right now I've got HE rounds uh, loaded. I'm going to go with smoke first. The, the challenge with smoke is that on the U.S. and French carrier, your max range is just about 2,500 meters, so I may not see your smoke. Okay, so go with the HE then? That is correct. Okay. So uh, do you want me to just shoot one off and see where it's at? or? Yeah, go. you've got the ammo cache there still feeding you ammo, correct? That is correct, yeah. Okay, then I would just go ahead and uh, line up your, your range with your tube angle and then give me uh, give me three and see what we see. I'm interested to know if I can hear you firing from this range. I just shot off three. Oh, I didn't hear a thing. Now, this flight time is going to be probably 30 plus seconds now. And you can put up to five or six rounds in the air before the first one falls. So I probably need to uh, tone this down a little bit if it's not hitting you anywhere or okay, getting near. I'm here. Okay, I'm hearing it. I'm moving because I don't see it, which is. Was it behind fine. you or in front of you? No, I think it's going to be it's going to be short and to the right uh, to the left, but I don't know that for a fact. You can go ahead and throw out a smoke, but I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. I'm going to get on top of the vehicle spawn here to see if i can uh okay can so so to go higher the pitch i'm gonna go to a 2.1 uh That's max good. it says max range by a thousand so oh i see okay so let's try i actually have a lower angle because you're gonna throw it farther yeah all right I'm going to lob a smoke now. So, and that should be a little bit farther out than what uh, the original was. Okay. I'm on top of the vehicle now, so. So, let me go a little bit. I'm going to go right at 25 or 2.5, which is, you know, 2,500. Yeah, that, that should be the max range. We'll be able to see smoke. Is that you? I see it. Okay. So you, you see smoke now? I do see smoke. Okay. So that was the first round. The second round is on its way. And okay. that one, it, I have it set for 2.5. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm looking at my map, and I'm seeing where you're located at. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. And what's your current degree setting for your uh, on your top gauge? What do you shoot? What's your your deflection there? Does it, it I'm, you know, says zero and it says minus on the left and plus I'm, on the right? I'm at a uh, like a plus three maybe. Okay. All right. All right. So you're gonna okay. So um, let's go right. And what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm actually counting um, my channel slots. So F1, F2, F3, and almost F4 here. I'm going to count that. Let's go 30 mils across. So four four channels times 30 is 120. Um, I'm just going to do some quick math here, but let's go let's go six degrees to the right. And with the U uh, with the French in the U.S., it's every time you press. Now don't lay on it. When you use that button to the left and to the right, every press is approximately one degree. So I'd press that six times. Zoom, Jim. 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 Sorry. <laughs> sorry. And okay. then. Uh, and then I would add, um, I would add, uh, I would go ahead and let's go, let's go shoot along this, uh, put it out to 3000. Uh, I would fire HE. What? Uh, you were short, so you need to add 500. Okay. Um, Probably not that far, but I want to get, I want to get rounds on the target and we can adjust from there. Okay. Now you want HE rounds, correct? Only HE. That's correct. All right. HE rounds. Oh, 
hitting the wrong one here. Told you I'd screw things up, guys. That's fine. Just give me five. <laughs> just good. no, just a minute. So or give me three, whatever. I'm gonna go. We'll give. So you're gonna go right six degrees, which will put you. You said it like two. Is that right? So six plus two is gonna be eight. If I heard, if I remember correctly. Well, let's see what this does. Let's see what this okay. does. Okay, it's on its way. Yeah, I don't hear you again, which is awesome. Yeah. But realize that this, like any other unit, will set off EWS. Yeah, I think it's like on a truck. So, you know, you're looking at about a click and a half. It'll set it off. Maybe more. Maybe two. Let's see. And you've got those outs. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Okay, outstanding. That's the first round landed. Where? Uh, oh. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm going to mark this for you. Now this is okay. Now that we're here, I'm going to put where I saw your rounds marked, so you can see where I think. Sorry to do that the first time. I should have. That makes it hard for you. And I'm going to do. Um, that's where your land. That's where your uh, round landed. Okay. And, and then your other one landed, I want to say, is right about here. Okay? Oh, okay. So I'm pretty much lined up then. Right. So, so I, would, I just need to back it off just a tad. There you go. Exactly. Your FO didn't help you there very much on that first <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But I, I would um, – you could probably drop – I don't know if you can – you can do this, but it's probably 200. No, I'm, I think I got this here. Okay. All right. It's on its way. Okay. I'm going to shoot three off. That's fine. And guys, and this is, this is the thing that you will get as a forward observer, the FO. You'll begin to judge distance better and better. Cause I think that one of the things in a two dimensional, at least for me, my experience is I think something is so very, very far away and it's not as far. And so it just takes a little bit of getting used to. But uh, that's why we're going to need guys to. You to you definitely on... need to be doing this with a player, with, with, a, with a squad mate. Because okay. trying to imagine doing this by yourself, you're not going to be able to you tell. You can't, yeah. And you'll see the round. So we're right about, you're almost the exact same spot. I would not change your orientation. I would drop range. I would I would probably drop a, a hundred. And you could probably come right uh your right to um one degree, just one press. Oh that right, and then you should be all set. And I'm gonna get out okay. of here because you're fixing to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's no friendly fire, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but my precious ears. But uh Okay. Anyway. There's one. There's two. There's three. Okay. Give you guys something to look at here when I get turned around. I don't know how close it's going to be. I was I'm just guesstimating at this point, but yeah, but if you but we're we're getting things uh, tracking pretty well though. Uh, so let's see. Watch you land right on you. <laughs> no, but it's a, it's, I mean, it is. I missed it. I should have. Uh, Am I far? No. Um, I would, this is going to be a hard part. Is I, um, that hundred, I think you, you were in the berm right next to me. And I was on the other side, so I didn't, I could just hear it. Oh, it I was, was uh, okay. Just a teeny bit short. So, you know, if you wanted to, and this is hard because I know that you're dealing with not, your and your gauges have big increments teeny so bit short huh yeah yeah i mean when i say teeny bit i'm saying within within a grenade distance is what i'm thinking okay so here i'm gonna i'm gonna think this is where i think it hit i think it hit right about i'm guessing here but i'm thinking that's where you hit right in this area so try it again and i will not move off the tent so i can see all sides oh wow okay all right um give me five Give me five. Throw it on me. Well, let's, let's see here. All right. So there's one. Uncle Sam is paying for all that ammunition. Get it <laughs> <Two>. out. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. 
four, five. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of patience to, to really get these, get this down guys. Just teamwork. Yeah. It's, it is going to take some, some patience and, and a good spotter. Definitely a good spotter. Okay. I've got you. You're long now, so. Oh, wow. I am long. All right. Yeah, it, it's about the same. About the same. Oh, you're looking at my. Uh... <laughs> yeah. You're looking at my screen. <laughs> I know I'm cheating, right? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Let's give this a shot. I would, yeah, I would say, yeah, that's, that's probably a hundred, you know, let's, I drop it a hundred if you can. And your line is great. Don't worry about that. I'm doing three. Just then. Okay. That's three, fine. Three on the way. And see, see guys where he's, where he's tracking here. I don't know if you can see my screen very well, but uh, you can be, or if it goes to yours and your map screen, you'll see all the marks I've made. Okay, you just need to keep dropping range, exact same place. So shorter? Oh yeah, you need to keep dropping range because you're you really didn't literally didn't change, but more than maybe twenty meters. So keep coming short. Okay. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. So you hit right about here. Okay, got a couple of them on your way. Three. Right, that's fine. Yeah, one thing that's kind of screwing me, I'm going to uh, traverse, elevate. Yeah, it's, that's the, yeah. Okay, okay, you are just need to continue dropping range. It's, you know, and that that's going to be your up-down arrows, not your left-right. Right. And I keep getting uh, screwed up because I do things a little different than you. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. All right. There's one. And I'm just tapping the, uh, the range down as I go. Just one uh -oh. slight tap. Nope. Okay. So let's see what that does. So it should be three in a line. Okay. All right, you're, okay, that's first one's landed, second one's landed. Okay, yeah, don't, yeah, cause you're beginning to, uh, you're beginning to, is your, is your, your tracking here, your rounds are beginning to, pr yeah. come, to come towards you. No, they're dro They're actually, um, drifting away, uh, from the, here. This is where they're hitting. Oh, I'm going farther. Well, you're what you're, you're actually, it's almost like you've moved your tube to the left slightly. Mm. So, um, I would, um, making sure that you're, you're referencing your, your bottom gauge, the big tube angle range and i would drop it um if you can it's i know that it's difficult uh just drop an, uh, another tap or two for your range and because now we're probably 50 meters but then once we get that once we get the range right then we'll have to reorient to the right again but that's okay biggest thing when to get the range down yep so you've got two of them on your way okay sounds good Yeah, I cannot imagine doing this with a uh, with joystick. There is no <laughs> way. Well, that, oh, that's all, oh, man. That, yeah, can you see how close you are to me now? Look at that. Well, oh yeah, your second one. I I got concussion. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. Um, you're right there. 
I would right. tell you, I would come, I would use, I, I, would I, use I, I just tapped, just tapped it. Let's see what. To the right? No, uh, the range. No, your, your range is, is, is going to be good if you're going to hit the vehicle spawn. Now, just um, go, you're going to go to the, you're going to go to your right. You're going to traverse to the right um, one degree. Okay. One tap. One tap to the right. All right. So the first one that's going to hit is no traverse change. The second one will have a slight traverse change. Okay. You see, this is where you hit. I'm putting them in, right in between. Okay. That is now you're okay. I'm waiting for the second one. I don't, I don't hear it. Okay. It's say it just came over a little bit. Okay. All right. So you need to come, let's come to the right. Um, just a, go, just a yeah, hair. Yeah. I would just, I would say one more degree. All right. And range is good, right? Yeah. Cause you're going to, we're just trying to hit the very top of the. Okay. Two on the way. And see, guys, this is why it's so important to work with the Ford Observer and then also to make sure that Ford Observer is giving you marks and then also adjusting the fire based upon what the gunner is seeing, not with what I see. So his yeah. left and right is different than what my left and right is. So you just have to speak in his terms because he's completely blind. Yeah, because you can't see you, you can't exactly. see at all. Um, now, I know a lot of. There, there's been a couple oh, questions. Perfect. Fire for effect. Fire for effect. <laughs> nice. Um, Send it. Give me all. Give me 10. Let's see what it looks like. So one thing to note, guys, you know, this is our. We there. If anybody here has ever been in real life, uh, you know, using mortars and stuff like that, there's countless countless um calculations that go into this so we're really just trying to make it to where it's functional in game and you know it is going to take a bit to to learn it it's not this is probably going to be the hardest uh um weapon that we have or vehicle that we have in game so or pretty close to so you know, it's going to take a bit to learn and you're going to need to rely on your squads, uh, your squad mates to, to really get this going. So, uh, will these, will these shells damage armor? These are HE. I'm not sure what the jewels are on it. Um, so that I'm not a hundred percent sure on, uh, I, I can, the way that our, the way it was explained to me, Jim, our current uh, HE rounds are uh, are not going to penetrate. Um, you're actually a teeny bit short. You're right on the uh, you're, you're right on the northeast corner. Yeah. Of the FB, but I mean, it looks. I mean, but your grouping. Look how tight this is, guys. That's why the the sweat is worth the effort, or the juice is worth the squeeze. Because once you get this thing oriented, you're you've got a pretty tight group here. Imagine getting the the army base nailed down with this. Imagine a couple of these working together. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Right, and then you can also the the big thing there. Can you imagine for the really? I mean, we do have mortars with a fifty millimeter, but they were they had sh such short legs at five hundred meters. You could actually, for the first time now, deploy a tactical smoke screen, so that when your APC or the tanks begin to move in, you know, and then. You know that you can actually for the first time really coordinate those kinds of things and then not only that but then you follow that up with high explosives onto a depot or an ab or something so you can do a lot of good stuff uh right, jim if you want to add just like you know there you go there's one on the there's another one on the vehicle you're still coming in a little <laughs> short um uh, on some of them uh you're it's getting about that that could be due to wind or whatever not that we, well, have we don't wind have in there, yeah, but, but i mean it's the it's the yeah it's the, the increment that you can move it is tough now I did yeah. send off some smoke. I want to see if the, because we're right at twenty five hundred. Let me see if I can. Well, you'll you'll be able to see it. it's at the same range, so. 
Yeah, guys, and that's a limit. That is a historical limitation. Actually, I confirmed that again today in my readings. I saw it somewhere else. Okay, there, right there, that's the limit. It looks like, was that at the same range? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's as far as she'll go. Right there, let me show you where you're at. You're at your original point. So you're probably, that's probably 200 meters. Okay, gotcha. So that's, oh, that's way too short. Sorry. I, what was I thinking? Sorry. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's ah. about 50. <laughs> yeah, I was sorry. I was like, no, it's all right. Head. So it's yeah. pretty pretty close to where your mobile spawn is. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah, so, yeah. So um, if you wanted to, now that you kind of got oriented here, did you want to try for the infantry spawn? Uh, Sure. We could give that a shot. So, okay. um, so I need to, so I would think that, um, same Let me, range. Yeah. I'm not touching the range right now. I'm just getting the, uh, the traverse. Okay. Yep. One, one is I'll send three. Yeah, I would say because you're at, uh, you said you're at two, uh, 2,400 meters. Yeah, I'd probably, yeah. About 2,500. It may take, I would. So, let's see here. Let's see where they, Let where me, those land. Hey, how many how many uh, degrees did you go to the right? Um, let's see here. I went. Uh, I'm at about ten degrees, so about four degrees. Oh, you did? Okay. Okay, that's where I think that you're at. Maybe that's a little bit short. I mean, what what I marked, I would uh, I would come right. Um, I'd go right two degrees, and I would add Got 50. Got you. Yeah. Add 50 meters. And just FYI, you may have seen it, but I did get another. You're kind of breaking up a little uh, bit uh, on your uh, my, comms. Uh, yeah, my internet connection, they said, was uh, I may have a family member that's on a conference call, a video conference call. Which I guess the good news is I started first, but. I don't know if that'll matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll say. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. Anyway, so. <laughs> so, so you got three coming at you. Okay, very good. You know, we could actually uh, begin to advertise... Uh, commercials with these shell times <laughs> i know right sponsorship, <laughs> sponsorship, sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. oh that'd be funny <laughs> yeah. yeah okay all right uh you went two degrees didn't you uh four you went four? Oh yeah i would come back two and uh your range is almost perfect you okay add a little bit of range but come back two. all right it means you you would need to go left two degrees sorry guys correct I'm trying to make sure that i'm communicating and it's all about tomato tomato it's got to be tomato or potato it can't be otherwise it's a little frustrating okay three on the way now during this 30 seconds i will tell you that is uh, <laughs> uh that we have here um i use brill cream <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, <laughs> i knew you were gonna go infomercial on us and oh my god wax on wax off or the what is that, tmi the towel guy? tmi the towel guy, you know? but uh no, I, you know, the, our hope. Oh, there we go. That's, yeah, you're, yeah, you're right there. Yeah. I would, uh, yeah, I would bring it over. Um, I would bring it left one more degree. And I think you can fire for effect. Okay. Um, range is good, right? 
yeah, you might have to drop a teeny bit of range, but I mean, but it looks good. We're, we're going to see what it looks like after you adjust it. And then with some practice, it's hopefully, guys, that if you guys work together in teams, that you'll be able to spot a target with no known point by someone making a place in an accurate or semi-accurate mark. So when that first round goes out, you, you get uh, you both get oriented in terms of the accuracy. And then, you know, imagine what you could do to uh, that, that pesky anti-aircraft gun. Hey. You know. Well, hey. sorry. You leave <laughs> the Bofors alone. Gun. You know, or, you know, I mean, so there's just a lot of different things there that you can use it for. Okay. You still need to come to your, um, okay. That last one hit the, the edge of the infantry spawn. Okay. You're right. So you're, you're right. Uh, right at range. It yeah, could go but, just a hair more, but so, right. You need to come left. You know, okay. I'm gonna hit it, a tap it one time to the left and then just, I would, I'd drop 10 on it just for fun. Uh, let's see here. I need to go. And you said go left? From your orientation, yes, sir. The traverse. Traverse left, excuse me, yes. Uh, let's give that a shot. I'm, I'm shooting one for now. Let's see what that does. Okay. Because once you guys see, yeah, you can see where... Can you see these impact marks? Yeah, we can see them. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get a bomb right on you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get my ears wrong. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Pesky Germans. Gotta put them back in their place. But uh... so I just sent one of them. I've just got one coming to you right now. Uh, oh, so, okay. That was I, on the other side. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side. I'm gonna run over here. So you're okay. This one hit. Okay, this one was right. Ah. Was it long? No, you you adjusted a little too much to the left. Yeah. It, so this is this is definitely going to. Uh... And you have to understand that the longer your ranges are, the the smaller movements make the biggest impact. And so when you're at a target that's very close, you're going to have to make big swings yep. in your in your left and right to, yep. to get oriented because you're so close. Right. You know, I think uh, I think everybody kind of got the gist of, uh, of the mortars. Um, okay. I we know there's going to be a crap ton of questions about this stuff. Yep. That's why we wanted to do a live stream and just kind of kind of show you a little hands on about the thing. Um, you know, there's different variants. The German variant is uh, the, uh, was it the 251 uh, truck? The two, that's right. The 251 C2, uh, I think it is. And, or, or, and yeah, that one doesn't have as quite a long legs, so to speak. Um, it has a limited traverse. Um, so, but I mean, that's so it needs to be operating more at a kind of in that sweet spot. So it doesn't have to have as much um effort but then you get the universal carrier which has fantastic 360 degree traverse oh but that's right the british huh yeah which is a huge thing but it has a very light ammo load and no secondary armament and the crew's incredibly exposed so there's nuances to each one of these things yes yeah. and that's what we don't want red versus blue and that's one of the great things about world war ii online and We've been very fortunate. We've had a lot of uh, recent traffic here based upon um, some uh, uh, Blue Drake uh, 42 did a streaming about yep. our future and choke point, which has generated a great deal of interest. And the people who are tr who are um, who are trafficking through our channels and are getting a chance to play are really getting the fact that, hey, the scope, where's this game been? This is the scope and the scale that I've been looking for. and. We understand that we have some uh, graphical implementations that need to occur, but the, but the tremendous and the multi-layered strategic and tactical components, no one else has had that. We've been running this kind of a simulation for 21 years. So anyway, I'll be I'll get off my uh, I'll get off the pulpit. <laughs> there you go. Um, and if I I don't know I don't know what uh, what the time schedule is for the new patch to come out. Um, I, I I don't I don't want to speculate. I know he said something, and then I heard something else, so I don't want to speculate. But some, 
sometime today. <laughs> right. He posted it's going to be 9 Eastern, 8 okay. Central, 6 PST, 6 Pacific. Okay. So we're looking at another three and a half hours. So. Uh, yeah. For you guys. Right. Yeah. For the patch to come out. So yep. there's a lot more. There's a lot of stuff in this patch too. So this isn't the only thing that's uh, being delivered. It's but it's the most complicated one and we wanted to you know get this uh, video out so everybody could kind of get an idea of uh, get get your heads around it a little bit to uh how you could utilize it in game so absolutely and we ought to give a shout out to uh, development and production and operations QA. oh my gosh yeah i mean all the hard work that's gone into this i know that tr6 al is just tremendous um, you ought to look at some of the towns, some of the surf tiles that he does. I mean, really, it's uh, it's a beautiful world he's making, and we're so glad to be in it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, uh, huge shout out to the devs; uh, they nailed it on this, and um, you know, it, it's it's really cool, really cool stuff, guys. Um, Want to um, you know just say thanks to everybody here for showing up, just you know, on the spot and um uh, but once again you know we're the purpose of this uh live stream was to kind of alleviate some of those questions that uh you know oh my god i can't hit anything i don't even see where it hit you're you're really gonna need somebody to to you know be be the scout for you um the range on these things are incredible um you know so yeah it, it's definitely something that that uh I mean, you could sit at a forward base and, and pound a town if you've got it really dialed in. So um, there you go, guys. Uh, Tex, if you don't have anything else, we'll shut down the live stream. But uh, I think this was a lot of fun, and I appreciate your help uh, kind of walking me through this uh, this vehicle. Because, once again, I had never even touched this thing. This is the first time for me. No, that's great. You're a braver man than I am, Gungie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And look at you. Look at that. With a little help from your friend, look what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. First time out of the box. That's that's what you can do. Just a little bit of work and a little bit of help. And that's what World War II is all, is all about. Teamwork. That's it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, appreciate everybody showing up, and uh, we'll see you in the battlefield.